All right, Ken, thank you. So while the, the weather really kind of perfect today, it's been really a wet spring that's yeah. providing a breeding ground for an unpopular pest, mosquitoes. The question is, can we expect more of them this year? Mm. We sent forecast eight meteorologist Marcus <laughs> Bailey to find some answers. He's here now scratching his arms and <laughs> legs. <laughs> this is a little itchy situation. Yes. Right? It has been a very popular question that's been asked because not only has it been wet this May, but we're coming off a very mild winter sure. as well. So talking about the mild winter season combined with that exceptionally wet May that has led to concern to the insect population here in central Indiana. So we went to the experts to find out about the mosquito population this season. Now, the Marion County Health Department mosquito control has already been hard at work this past couple of weeks, spraying neighborhoods and offering services to areas that have already seen a great deal of growth in mosquito population. Matt Sinsko, a coordinator of the department's mosquito control, tells us that they are already seeing record numbers thanks to the mild winter and the wet weather during the month of May. While eliminating mosquitoes, not realistic, there are a few things Things you can do to help limit this mosquito population around you. The biggest thing homeowners can do is take five minutes, walk around their property, look for anything that might be standing, holding water. So things like rain gutters that are clogged, maybe leaves are still trapped from last fall that are causing water to accumulate in gutters. Um, things like a kiddie pool that's maybe been sitting out for a couple weeks um, will start breeding mosquitoes very quickly. Things like a saucer underneath a flower pot um, might hold water. Anything that holds water has that potential to breed mosquitoes. So homeowners can dump things that need dumped, maintain things like a swimming pool, um, or fix things that might be broken that might be holding water. Now, Sinsco also says you can take measures while being outside to prevent bites, wearing mosquito repellent, avoiding the outdoors where mosquitoes are most active, which is dawn and dusk, or if you have to be outside wear, uh, at those times wearing long sleeves and long pants. Also, Sinsco also reminds residents of Marion County that they do offer free services, including spraying as well as stocking ponds with and rain barrels. I thought this was interesting with these mosquito fish. They actually feed on mosquitoes. It's a natural way to help knock down mm. the mosquito population. And as I mentioned, all those services are free and we'll post that contact information on our website. Huh, good to know. What about uh, diseases? Are they concerned about the possibility of more of those spreading? Obviously, they take a look at that. Sinsco tells me they're always, always monitoring for disease during the mosquito season. The biggest concern, obviously, West Nile, but there's 30 right. species of mosquitoes mosquitoes and so what they're seeing right now not the species that typically would have West Nile that's later in the season mm. deeper into the summer but what they are finding right now are mosquitoes that can hold heartworms so oh. that is something important for dog Hell owners sure, so make yeah. sure that they keep on that also coming up new tonight at six mosquitoes might not be the only insect problem that we have mm. to deal with because of the warm winter and the wet May so I'll talk about that coming up at the top of the hour okay looking forward to it Marcus okay. thank you, you bet.